Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Oscar, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, hello. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Thanks, thanks, teacher. How was your day? Uh, fine. Fine, the usual. Uh, uh -huh. It's not usual. It's the usual is when I have a day very hard, very busy. Okay, so today was like more so -so. or less. Okay. Yes, yeah, so so. <laughs> okay. Remember, thank God it's Friday, right? <laughs> okay, good. And Ana Maria, hello Ana Maria. Welcome, Ana Maria. Okay, she's also still connecting, right? Okay, let's just start with the class. We are going to watch uh, a video before to start with the with the class. Okay. Here we are, right? Okay, let's watch the video again. Here I'm in Boston. My trip has been really fun and interesting so far. I've gone on walking tours, which taught me a lot about the history. I ate some really good clam chowder. I went to a baseball game. But I think the best thing about Boston the street performers. So what'd you think about his act? I was amazed by what he could do and all the things he could make out of balloons. Yeah. This man is really talented. It makes you feel like you're a child again. I think yeah. adults and children both really enjoy what he's doing. It's exciting to walk by someone on the street and suddenly they're just making something creative out of a balloon. What do you think about street performers? I was pleasantly surprised to come to the park and find street performers here. What words would you use to describe that performance? Uh, exciting, amusing for Kate. Amusing, yeah. yes. How do you think she felt? Oh, she loved it. I was amazed by the talent. I didn't realize that there was so much talent among the street performers in Boston. It definitely made me feel alive and energized. So what did you think of his act? Uh, well, I thought it was fascinating. How did you feel about his performance? I thought it was great. I thought he did an excellent job. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. What is it like playing for the general public? I like it. I enjoy it. Um, it's satisfying. Could you play something of your own? I'd love to. Sure. <laughs> were so talented. I want to be one. I don't know. You tell me. I don't know.
<laughs> okay. <laughs> this guy is really good, right? That's Boston. It's um it's a, a an uh a talent, right? To sing with your mouth. Okay, so here we have some exercises again about this this video, right? Okay, here we have these guys again. Look, the balloon man, the dance trooper, right? The accordion man and and the tourist, right? Doing boosting, <coughs> you know, boosting this guy. So we're going to rate uh, their their performance, right? We're going to rate their performance from one to five. Um, let's say, right, Vanessa. Let's start with the balloon, uh, with the balloon man, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, what is what is your qualification? What what number do you give to this guy? Five. Five. Yes. Oh, I good. like it. Like it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Your next party, you're going to invite someone like this, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. That's it, right? Now, how about you, Oscar? Let's go to the dance trooper, right? The image was not very clear at all, but you know, we saw enough, right? For me, for four. Oh, good critic, good critic. <laughs> okay, Domingo, please. Uh the accordion man, right? The accordion man. What what number do you give to this guy, Domingo? Uh, for me. Two. Two. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. I understand. Rosibel, and to the tourist, make it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so what, how do you four. rate this guy? Sorry, four. Four. Okay, good. You don't like this talent too much, right? Okay, now uh, let's go to this part. Let me see. And here we have some opinions, right? About these people, you know? We have the word amazing, amusing, boring, creative, energetic, entertaining, excellent, fun, great, interesting, Fascinating, silly, surprise, talented, unbelievable, right? So let's just start with the balloon man, right? I need you to tell me one opinion about this guy, right? Volunteers, please, volunteers. Ah, using this vocabulary, of course, right? I'm using the term. Okay, but creative. like a sentence. Okay, in my opinion, ah. like I think that the balloon man, blah, 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 okay, you know? In my opinion, <laughs> uh -huh. I think the balloon man is creative because I think it's hard to to do this album. The balloon, and, right? Mm -hmm. And fun because an album other can enjoy it okay. to play with or to see the album and ta talent. Talented. He's and talented. Talented. Mm. talented. talented. Yes. Remember the pronunciation of yesterday, right? Talented. Uh -huh. Talented because not everyone can do this. This forms of a dollar. I think that is not too easy. <laughs> yeah, I cannot imagine making those balloons, right? Even when I make parties to my daughter, <laughs> the single one, I have some problems. <laughs> Okay, good. Uh, what about the accordion man? No, no, the, the dance trooper is the second one, right? The dance trooper. Can you give your opinion using this vocabulary, please? A volunteer? For me? Uh huh, Rosibel? For me, it's, uh, it's, it's energetic. They are energetic, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they're training, and uh -huh. they're training also. 
Yeah. Okay. So you like them, right? Meeting yes. those, yes, I those, like those moon array. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I like those guys were really good, right? Okay. Yeah. Now the the accordion man, right? Opinion about the accordion man. Only one, please. Only one student. No, not everybody. Relax, please. Only one, please. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. What is your opinion about the accordion man? Well, this guy is not very good. Okay, Mr. Good evening. Good evening. I think about the accordion man is talented because oh. he's the one, a, one, a unique. Uh, I yeah. think uh, uh, some people have this talent and this is not, it's not uh, common to see that in a country like this. Mm -hmm. You're right. Thank you, Ever. Thank you very much. Yes. I consider Ever a music man, you know, he, he likes music a lot. So that's it, right? But the only thing I remember, guys, is when when uh, I was young and my father used to listen on the radio La Banda del Carro Rojo, right? And then there was a guy with the accordion you know, and that brings to my memory, right? And um, and today we have Musica Grupera, right? Uh, that yet they use this this instrument that is really good, right? Okay, how about the the tourist? Can you describe the talent? of the tourist what what do you think about the the tourist for me it's great it, this is the the box how do you say box, box. Uh, have you the heard someone is... doing that in el salvador yes I... yeah right I heard some people that do that. For me, it's not, not too amazing. It's only mm. right. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not the big deal, right? Okay, nice. So it's like talented, but not too much, right? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now we're going to make the next exercise. And in this case, higher up the form, right? Well. Let me tell you that on, on the street, we have, um, for example, I have visited the Centro Historico, right? And I have seen, for example, some living statues, for example, right? Some living statues and a group of people today, for example, they make some kind of living statues also, right? And, people doing things on the street, right? And they are really talented. But imagine you're going to hire, contratar, right? You're going to hire a talented person. Let's say, right? Imagine you are planning a party and you want to hire a performer, right? Or group of performers, right? Which of these performers would you like to hire and why? Why? Let's ask uh, Vanessa Noemi. You're making a party, right? So, mm -hmm. would you hire, hire someone like like this, or or some of them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so I think it depends of the of the of the topic of the party. <laughs> okay. So, but uh, which which one or which ones? For me, uh, me, me How do you say? It? Mine. Uh, mine. Uh, mine? Mm -hmm. uh, mine. Me. For me, it's. It's funny <laughs> because they 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 are funny and yes. it, it then it's interesting. Don't need to, to talk only to mine. <laughs> oh, okay. This is funny for me. And also, um, ma magi magis magi a magician. Magi magician. Magician. Yeah, Vanessa, I'm a magician. 
No, me, I am. <laughs> Are you? Yes. Really? Can you see? Okay. Look, look carefully. Yes. Please. Look, observe this. Huh? Do you see? <laughs> no. no. Again? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna take away my ring. Yes, give me. Some. Okay, ready? Okay, here. Did you see? Uh, yeah, I think. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, this one, look. Where look is it? Where is it? Oh, please. Out. <laughs> Again. I, okay, I hire, I hire you for. Oh, one. please. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it, it's, go, it's not going to cost you so much. I am okay. very cheap. I am very cheap. <laughs> okay. And the last one, look, Vanessa. But pay attention. This is most the most unbelievable. A magic trick you're going to see in your life. Ready? Okay. Yeah. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh, okay. You are a music teacher. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Uh, what about you, um, Oscar? You're making a party for your, your three princesses, right? And would you like to hire a guy like this? I, li I like hire for... Birthday party, a magician. A magician my, too, right? Yes, my little baby. Uh -huh. It's great for you. She loves magician. <laughs> okay, nice, right? Okay, and listen, I I won't ask ever, right? But I am sure, <laughs> I am sure if ever make, makes a party, who do you think he's going to hire? Do, Ever, don't ask, please, Ever, shh, don't say anything, right? The rest of you, who do you think Ever is going to hire? A rock band. Of course, rock right? <laughs> okay, good. That's it. Uh, me too, I would like to, if I, uh, if I had the, the chance to, to hire my aunt, for example, can you imagine, right? Or Guns N' Roses, my goodness. Oh, that's it, right? Okay, then this is what this, uh, was the introduction of the class. I will take the attendance. Just say present or just say your name. Just say here I am, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? And I beg you again to turn on your your uh, cameras, please. It, hello, Trini. Present teacher. Okay, good. Sorry. Thank you. The camera. What happened with the camera? Everything is okay, Trini. O de, de range, el rango no le alcanza, ¿verdad? Para el internet, Trini. No, estoy comiendo, pero ya lo voy ah, a encontrar. No, okay. no, no, no. Shh, okay. please, please. Okay, I respect that. But uh, if you're eating pupusa, please invite the group, please. <laughs> Thank you, Trini. Okay, Aminda. Present. Good, thank you. Eh, Ana María. ¿Ya se conectó Ana María? No, pero ya viene en camino, me dijo. Okay, así que vamos a ponerle asistencia porque ya se conectó al grupo. Ok. Carlos William. Present. Ok, welcome. Eh, Claudia Guadalupe. Oh, new, new, new style, Carlos. Congratulations. Eh. <laughs> you look rockero Thanks. too, eh, Carlos. <laughs> ok. Good. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you. Domingo. Present. Thank you. Eh, Ever. Good. Jose Roberto. Mr. Martinez Bernabé. No. Okay. Carla Benazir. Carlita. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, listener again, right? Va a estar de listener nuevamente, ¿verdad, Carlita? Bueno, okay. Aquí le estamos anotando la asistencia. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Carla Vanessa. Carla Vanessa. Okay. Mm, strange. Good. And Laisley. Give me a second. Creo que estoy, aquí está en el chat. Laisley. Veamos. Oopsie. Algo hice acá. Ah, aquí está. Ah, ok. Carla. No, Laisley no, todavía no se ha hecho presente. Bueno. Okay. And uh, Leticia. Leticia. No. 
Present teacher. Ah, oh, good. Welcome, Leticia. Uh -huh. Aquí me hace que me Present. voy a cambiar el, la rayita por puntito. <ríe> okay. uh -huh. Carla Vanessa, no, ¿verdad? Carla Vanessa. No, ok. Leticia, sí. And Mariano. Mariano. Strange, right? Qué raro. Mariano no había fallado hasta ahora. Ya son dos días. Ok. Oscar. Present. Ok. Rosemary. Present teacher. Ok. Welcome, Rosemary. Sorry to insist, Rosemary, but the, your camera is neat. Perfect. <laughs> ok. Good. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Rosibel. Present teacher. Good. Sonia y Beth. Sonia y Beth. Present. Ok. Welcome, Sonia. Welcome, welcome. Ya la extrañamos, Sonia. Okay, good. Eh, Vanessa Noemi. Present teacher. Walter Omar. Present teacher. Good. Wendy. Present. Good, welcome. Vicky Dinora. Miriam Verónica. Chamba. Debbie. Present. Good. Jorge Alfredo. Present teacher. Good. Welcome, Jorge. Okay, welcome, everybody. Yo, okay, uh, now we're going to, to start with the presentation. Today is a very short presentation, right? But, you know, because the topic is very easy tonight. Teacher, I'm here. Uh, who? Mariano. Mariano, okay, okay, Mariano, what happened to you, Mariano? ¿Qué, qué le había pasado, Mariano? Yeah, everything is okay? ¿Todo está, ¿Todo está bien, Mariano? Yes, yes. Okay, everything good. good. Thank you. Thank you. Good. I am happy to hear that, okay? Thank you, teacher. Now, okay, now let's start with uh, the presentation. I repeat, it's very short. So... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Work program, Intermediate 3. Tonight, it's July the 8th, Friday, thank God it's Friday. We're going to learn about promotion strategies discussion. Promotion. Remember, we were talking about the four P's, product, price, place, and promotion. So to, tonight, we're going to talk about a place and promotion. So let's start, right? And before to start, we're going to finish this topic, shopping. I know some guys say, oh, so <laughs> it's not very attractive, the topic for men, but for, for ladies, I well, for some ladies here, this topic is really interesting, right? Okay, um, let me see. Let's start with Wendy. Wendy, please. Do you like shopping, Wendy? No, really. Oh, I don't know. I don't like. You don't like it. Why? Because no. <laughs> it's boring. It's boring. Okay. Yes. I respect your opinion. That's I it. just, yes. <laughs> okay. Jorge, what about you? Do you like shopping? Jorge? Okay, so um, let me see. Um, Aminda, please help me. Okay. Do you, um, like, do you like shopping? The, the depends of the product. Okay, for example? For example, uh, I like to buy uh, a clothes. Do you, you like to buy clothes, right? Clothes, yes. Uh -huh. And, and shoes. And shoes. Yeah. Sorry to ask you. If you don't want to answer, don't answer. I mean, but how many <laughs> pair of shoes do you have? I think I have uh, 12 uh -huh. no, pairs of too much. shoes. It's not too much, including uh -huh. the, the, how do you say, the 
deportivos, zapatos deportivos. Sport, sport. Sports, sports shoes. Sports shoes. Okay, it's not too yeah. much. I thought you would say 25. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's possible. Yeah, believe me. I, I have made this question to some other students, uh, women, right? And they say like 20, 23. 20. Yes. Well, anyway. But now, okay. let me see. Uh, Rosibel, in your opinion, is shopping an addiction? What do you think? Uh, sometimes can be additions. For you, Rosibel? When the people... Be honest, be honest. <laughs> yes or no, Rosibel? Uh, creo que se le perdió la señal, Rosibel. Rosibel, hello. Okay. I hope she reincorporate later, right? Uh, Trini, help me, Trini. For you, chopping is an addiction, yes or no? For me, no. No. But personally, you don't, yeah, you don't think it's an addiction. But for other people? Other people? Um, one. So. Or some, some, right? Or some, okay. I understand, I understand. Good. And uh, Carlos, do you think this addiction, if there is an addiction, right, can be, uh, can be cured? Mm, yes, when How? you go to... How? How can you cure you uh, going... a, a person that is addicted to this <laughs> when you there are some people believe me there are some people that go and they and they say why did i buy a lot of things i didn't need them right but i love shopping they say Sorry. yes I, I i think the cure is when you going to be a homeless <laughs> no <laughs> yeah you're right when you when you don't have money to buy food right <laughs> yes okay nice uh debbie in your opinion, window shopping is a total waste of time, yes or no? You know what is window shopping, right? No, teacher. No, no. Window is when you go uh, to the stores, you, you go to the commercial centers, and you're watching the, the window stores, you know. Like a, the vitrinas. Uh -huh, vitrinas, yes. And, and, and you, mm -hmm. don't, you don't buy anything. You just, you know, pretending you're buying, but... <laughs> But no, right? So do you think this is a total waste of time? Yes, yes or no? Yes. Yes. You do you do that, Wendy? Yes. Uh, Debbie, sorry, sorry, Debbie. Yes. You do that. No, 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 not really. Not really. Okay. Good. That's it, right? And let me see. Uh, ah, Rosibel is back. Hello, Rosibel. You had some trouble, right? Good. Uh, do you like to go window shopping, Rosibel? Rosibel? Okay, don't worry, Rosibel. I guess you're, you're having problems. Um, let me see. Uh, Good, good, good. So maybe uh, Rosibel is not going to give commentary because it's the, the, the internet is not very good, right? Okay, uh, Rosemary, what about you? Do, you? do you like to go window shopping? Actually, I like it. Oh. I think it's one kind of entertainment. Okay, good. And in your opinion, Rosemary, when did shopping become so popular? Because in the past, I mean, it was not, not popular. But when do you think it becomes so popular? I don't know, maybe when the shopping malls being created. I know, because in the 70s, it right? Usually. Uh -huh, because I remember when, listen, I am I'm not very young. As you can notice, <laughs> but I remember the, the only commercial center that I remember is Metro Center, right? Long, long time ago, right? And it was a, a very small place 
Yeah, it's, it was it wasn't so big. I remember, right? And they they make in the primera etapa, segunda etapa, ter, octava etapa, you know. So was well, only so metro sur. Ah, uh -huh, metro sur also, but it was very small too. But now, you know, wherever you go, Mapopa, San Martin, Cujucuyo, all the places that you go, right? A commercial center, right? So everybody likes to go shopping. Yeah? Okay, good. Ever, uh, do you prefer do you prefer shopping in malls or markets? I mean, sir. Or streets? Do you prefer shopping in malls, commercial center, right? Markets, mercado, you know? Or to buy on the streets? El agachón. I don't know. For me, the three, the three places, it's depend that oh, okay. we need it. For example, if you want to buy something um, on the street, for example, what, what would you buy? On the street? Where we are going to, to find one cachada about everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. One shoes, uh, uh, ensembles, or mm -hmm. some bolsas de ropa usada, no? <laughs> you, you can find something that's beautiful in the, in this place, no? Of course, yes. And whatever, mass market of the street, yeah. I'm not ashamed ever. I'm not ashamed to say that I have bought some clothes. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yes. And also in the uh, Baje Mese, right? <laughs> Baje yes. Mese, Only you need it. You, you, the, the, the one thing that I, that I don't like it is you need to spend a lot of time to, oh, yeah, you're right. to search and, and to try to find the, the, the correct size or, or, or something like this. Wow. And when I when I when I, when I don't have any time, I, I go to market to be my practice. No. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Wendy. What's top of your shopping list when you go shopping, and you say I need to buy this all the time? What is that, Wendy? Um. I like, for example, if I want to go shopping for clothes, uh -huh. I like to go, um, I don't want to say names of stores, but yes. I want to go to the malls. I know, I oh, know, but, but listen, listen, the question is this, yeah. what product, what product is okay. top of your list? Um, clothes. Clothes. Shoes. Okay, good. Clothes and shoes. Okay, I understand. I don't like go shopping, but I need to buy. Of course, it's necessary. Yeah. <laughs> of course. So it's yes. my it's my top. Yeah, but you you, I imagine you are like me, right? That uh, I only see uh, this chair, mm, these shoes. Okay. Uh, do you have this size? Yes. Okay. Good. This color. This size. Okay, yes, goodbye. I don't. And that's it. I right? don't spend too much time shop in the shopping. Okay. I mean, I have, I have too much shoes, but I I buy it very fast because I I get boring very fast. I imagine. Okay, I imagine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good, uh, Oscar. Why is the thing that? No, why no? What is the thing you forget most often? There is a mistake here. Is what? What is the thing you forget most often when you go shopping, Oscar? Imagine you go to the supermarket, right? And then you, go home, you say, oh, I forgot this. What is that? My wallet, Felix. Your what? Your wallet? Yes. I don't get it, Oscar. I don't get it. Sorry. How come? My, wa my wallet for not buy more product. Ah. My wallet. <laughs> okay, I understand. Okay, you intentionally forget your, your wallet at home? Okay. I understand. I understand your idea. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, I, the, for, I uh, not just more often in the supermarket is milk. Ah, okay. Good. Now, how about you, Aminda? What do you, what are the things that you most often forget when you go shopping? Uh, I forget uh, the, the plastic bag for, ah, the, okay. for the garbage. Okay. Well, my recommendation, I mean, that you, you buy those on the street, right? On the corners. My, that's my recommendation. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Vanessa. Vanessa Noemi. 
do you like shopping in other cities? Like go to buy it to San Miguel, to Santana, to, or, or in Guatemala, I don't know. Do you like that? Yes, I, usually I, I go to shopping when I, I do other, other, other things, so. Okay. And when I went to work, I can go to other, in Santa Tecla, and I live in Norte, so. Oh, in Santa Tecla, there are, good, uh, there are a lot of places to go, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, Santa that's Tecla okay. is beautiful, yeah. So that's it, right? Thank you, thank you very much. So thank you, everybody. This is the, the introduction, right? Now we're going to have the same topic, uh, I mean, objective than yesterday. And we're going to go directly to the vocabulary, right? Class, I, I have chosen some words in, in the, uh, for the manual, right? All these words are taken from the manual, right? So uh, if you need that I add other words or, or you don't understand any of these words, please tell me, right? Don't, don't worry about that. And as we always do, we're going to pronounce, uh, practice the pronunciations, right? We're going to practice the pronunciation. So let me see. Let me see here, right? And uh, we're going to do the, the, the following. I'm going to uh, ask some students, and you're going to listen and repeat, right? Just give me a second here. I'm doing something here. Give me a second. Ah, OK, here I am. Here I am, right? OK. So let's start with the first one. Uh, Trini, please. Listen and repeat, Trini. Intended. 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 Okay, nice, nice. Intended. Aminda, please. Listen and repeat. Reach. 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 Thank you. Next one, okay. Ana Maria. Training. Training. Ana Maria. Okay, Carlos. Training. Training. Good. Domingo, ready? Listen and repeat, Domingo. Actually. 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 Good. Ever? Listen and repeat. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Good pronunciation, my goodness. Thank you. Irrelevant. Okay. I like this word. I like this word. Uh, let me see. Mm, Leticia, please listen and repeat, Leticia. Awareness. Awareness. Okay, so Mariano, please. Mariano, listen and repeat. Awareness. Awareness. So, Oscar, please. Awareness. Awareness. Good, thank you. Awareness. Thank you. Now, the last one, please. Uh, Rosemary, listen and repeat. Advantage. Advantage. Uh -huh, very good, good pronunciation, right? Advantage. Advantage. Okay, nice. Advantage. Thank you. Now, let's come back to this plot, to this part, sorry. And now we're going to read, right? We're going to read. I will read all the, the vocabulary so you listen the pronunciation, right? And later you're going to help me to read, right? Intended, adjective, planned, or meant. Reach, a verb, right? To get or gain. Training, it's a noun, right? The action of teaching a person a particular skill 
or ability, right? Or type of behavior. Actually, remember, actually is a false cognate, right? It's a false cognate. Actually is not actualmente, mm -mm, no. So actually is an adverb that means in fact, in effect, right? Irrelevant is an adjective, something that is not important, right? Example, not important, FAS, Aguila, Real Madrid, you know, ah, not important, right? Okay, good. Advantage, advantage, it's a noun, it's a condition or circumstance that puts one, uh, puts you, right? In a favorable, favorable, oh wait, favorable or superior position. Favorable or superior position. Awareness, awareness, right? It's a noun, knowledge or perception of a situation or fact. Okay, now help me to read, please. Um, Rosibel, intentémoslo de nuevo. Rosibel, vamos a ver si no se va el internet. Okay, read the first one, intended, please. Intended, adjective, planning, or meaning. Okay, thank you. Yvette, please, next one, number two. Sonia Yvette. Hello. Please, read number two, reach. Reach, verb. To get to or gain. Thank you. Vanessa Noemi, please. Number three. Training. Vanessa. Okay. Walter Omar, please. Number three. <coughs> Training. <laughs> The action of teaching a person a particular skill or type of behavior. Thank you very much. Actually, please, Wendy, help me. Okay. I can see the screen. Oh, okay, yeah. Actually, number Actually, four. Actually, other, in fact, in effect. Thank you. David, please. Irrelevant. Irrelevant, adjective, not important. Good. Jorge, please. Advantage. Read, please, Jorge. Okay, Trini, please. Advantage. Advantage. Now, a conditional. A condition or a circumstance that puts one is a favorite or superior superior position. Good. In a favorable or superior position. Th thank you very much. Aminda, awareness. Awareness. Awareness, sorry. Awareness is there. Uh, awareness. Uh -huh. Now, knowledge or perception of a situation or facts. Good, class. This uh, is vocabulary. So please ask me translation into Spanish, any word that you don't understand, pronunciation, etc. etc. Come on, please. The history of these words, <laughs> anything that you can ask me, please. Like Eugenio says, Eugenio Albert, pregúntale, pregúntale, right? Come on, please. Teacher, what do you mean in for in rich? Say to get to. Or gain, what do you mean is gain? To get to, you know, obtener, o lograr, ganar algo, you know, reach. For example, you're okay. you're going to Izalco Volcano, so you reach the top, the summit, right? Or you reach your goal, usted alcanzó sus metas, you know? Ganó algo, obtuvo okay. algo, okay? So that is reach, lograr, obtener, alcanzar, you know? Understand? Okay. Good. Yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Good. Any other any other question? Come on. Come on. Ask me. Ask Mr. me. The, la the last one. The last. Awareness, right? Awareness. Uh, you want to know in Spanish? Yes. Conciencia. Conocimiento. Saber algo. Estar consciente de algo, right? 
So is the, per, the knowledge, you know, conocimiento or perception of one situation. For example, uh, you know that if you drive very fast, you can die, right? If you're driving like the 101B, 140, 42, if you're driving like that, you, you're aware or you have an awareness that you can die, you know? So you have this perception, you know, this knowledge, conocimiento, conciencia, saber que algo puede pasar, right? Good. Any other question? No? Okay. So that's it, right? We finish. Now let's go to the manual. Let's go to the manual. And ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to practice per, uh, uh, conversation a lot, right? Everybody's going to make this conversation, right? It's page number uh, 22 in your manual, page 22. And I say, right, we're talking about place and promotion, the, the second two piece. Okay. So let's start with the first question. You ask, you answer if you want, right? What is the process of moving, moving products from the producer to the intended user called? I mean, how do you call the process of uh, uh, taking the product from the factory to the, to the stores or to the supermarkets or to your house, right? or oh, the place where it's made to the place where it's, the product is used, you know? So how do you call this process? Okay, remember the four P's? Product, price, place, and promotion. Yes. Sorry? Place, place, place right? Place. Place or placement, you know, colocar el producto, colocar el producto, placement, right? Or you, other words to say this is distribution, distribution of the product, right? So when you distribute the product, you're moving the product from the factory, from the office, whatever is produced, right? To the place where everybody's going to use it, you know, to the stores, to the supermarket, to the personal selling to retail stores, et cetera, et cetera, right? Good. Now, next question. How important is placement to uh, reaching the, to reach, sorry, aquí hay, uh, perdón, aquí hay un error, esta ING no aquí. Después de la proposición two, no puede ir una ING, tiene que ser infinitivo, okay? So how important is placement to reach the right target audience? Come on, guys, I need your commentaries. How important is this? Especially those who work with product, right? Come on, commentaries. It's very important, teacher, because if you don't do this right, you can sell your product and you can uh, have um, ganas, benefits. Profits, uh -huh. benefits or profits. Profit. Uh -huh. profit, yeah. Totally agree, totally agree, right? So how your public, how the consumers are going to use your product if you don't have a good distribution or a good placement of your product, right? It's impossible, come on. So that's why uh, I, I usually see a lot of vendors, a lot of uh, salesperson, uh, sales people, sorry, uh, in the stores around my neighborhood, you know, all the time. They say the Pepsi, Kleenex, uh, Coca-Cola, they are promoting the product, right? trying to distribute the product, especially in the markets, supermarket, retail stores, you know, la tiendita, tienda de, de, de conveniencia, tienda de, de, menu, de menudeo, okay? So groceries. That, sorry? Groceries too, yes, groceries, of course, yes. So you see a lot of people trying to, to place their product, right? Because this is the success of your product. If you can create a product and distribute this product to, to the users, come on guys, you're going to have a lot of money, right? Or at least your company is going to have a lot of money, right? Okay, now, 
Let's go to this conversation, right? Listen, Sophia is discussing some ideas about the place to distribute her product. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Okay, so listen, please. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually relevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to serve the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create aware awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so the people will buy them. So yes, class, again, enough. <laughs> We're going to learn uh, more about enough, but don't worry, on Monday, not today. <laughs> on Monday, not today, right? Good, now let's practice pronunciation. Please repeat after me, repeat after me, please. Microphones off, ready? But I'm watching your cameras. Es por eso que les pido que enciendan sus cámaras para revisar si están repitiendo, ¿verdad? Porque no podemos repetir todo porque... Uh, hay mucha distorsión del sonido, lastimosamente. Así que por eso quiero ver que estén practicando. Vamos a ver. Repeat after me. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few. Developed. But. I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. Should get, should get, sell them, sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. I think the place is actually irrelevant. Actually, irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. Advantage, access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. Training. People are always using their phones, their phones to serve the web and learn new things. Web, ba, 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 web. New things, new things, tha, 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 tha. things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites. Create Awareness, social networking sites. And create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Create enough interest. Buy them. Them. Mm, mm, mm. Buy them. Sell them. Buy them. Get them. Etc. Et those you have to uh, link those songs. Do, those sounds. Sorry, those sounds. Okay. Good class. Any question about vocabulary? Any word that 
Is it difficult for you here? Any pronunciation? No? Okay, let's start our practice, right? So Trini, please. Uh, Trini, you are letter, uh, you are Sophia, right? And Debbie, please he help me, Debbie, you're going to be Arnold, right? Ready? Trini, ready? Okay, one, two, three. Action. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I am not sure if I sure get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could say your training course online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness but about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses to that people will buy them. Okay, thank you. Courses, right? Courses, courses. Thank you very much. Hey, Leticia, do you have a question, Leticia? Or you want to participate? I want to participate. Good. What do you want, Sofia or Arno? Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so Sofia, you are Sofia. And Sofia. Sofia, good. Thank you. Now, and uh, Aminda, can you help me, please? You're going to be Arno. Hey, Arno. Okay. Go ahead, please. Sofia, Leticia. <laughs> Sofia Leticia. I would like to sell training, but I'm not sure. Uh, can you hear it, teacher? Courses. Courses. Come on, again, Leticia. I would like to sell training courses online. Oh. Okay. So training courses. Oh, I don't know if I... <laughs> Relax, Leticia. Okay. I would like to sell training courses online. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. okay. You're doing well, Leticia. I would like to training courses online. I have developed a few. But I'm not sure if I should play like a store to sell them. <laughs> okay, come on, uh, Aminda. Okay. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. Come on, Leticia. <laughs> you have a party, right? Good, good. I like it. I like it. <laughs> this part, Leticia. This part. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, go ahead. What? Alguien la está molestando ahí, Leticia. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Okay. What do you mean by access? Ajá, Minda, go ahead. Okay. You could start your training course online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Good, thank you. 
No, Leticia, curses, curses. Okay, and uh, Aminda, could, could. Could. No, could. Could. Yeah, the, the L is mute, right? La L es muda. Like you say, walk, talk, should, um. would, would, so. You don't say could, no, no, could, no, it's could. I could. Excellent, could. Cool. Okay. There. There, I there. fell in my internet. The, I, I understand, don't worry. Okay, I understand. So in this case, the I is not pronounced. La I no se pronuncia, so we say there. Ah, uh, there, okay. There. Very good, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, uh, Mariano, thank you. Uh, what do you want to be, Mariano? Sofia or Arnold? Whatever, teacher. Whatever. So you're going to be Arnold because you're a boy. Right? Okay. Well, and I need a Sofia. Um, let me see. Uh, Wendy, please. Can you be Sofia, Wendy? Yes, I can. Okay. One, two, three. Action. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You can sell your training courses online. People are always using their phone to surf in the web and learn new things. This is a great because you can create awareness about your product from social networks, networking sites, and create a, a now interesting interest in the course so that people will buy them. Thank you, Mariano. Say courses, right? Because it's plural, right? Courses, courses. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, um, Ana Maria. Are you there, Ana Maria? Ana Maria? No, okay. So, uh, Carlos, please. Carlos, you're going to be Arnold. And let me see. Vanessa Noemi is going to be Sofia, right? Okay, one, two, okay. three. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if, if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Thank you very much. Okay. Listen, Carlos, actually, like, sh -sh 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 -sh, actually. Actually. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Domingo, please. Uh, Domingo, you're going to be Arnold, right? And. I have no more girls. Let me see. Uh, Vanessa Noemi? Vanessa? Please, you're going to be uh, uh, Sophia, right? Okay, ready? One, two, three. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to pay a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. Awareness. Of access. Awareness. Of access. No, okay, wait, wait. Advantage. Advantage. Sorry. Advantage. Excuse, Advantage. Me. No, sorry. Advantage. <laughs> Excuse me, que vos, sorry. No. <laughs> Advantage. Advantage. No, no. A advantage. Advantage. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I was lost. Advantage. 
uh, uh, advantage. 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 Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. What do you mean by access? You call serve your training course, course uh, online. People are always using their phone, the tool, the web, and little new thing. It is there because we can spread uh, awareness about your product from social networking skills and create and now interest, interest in the course to that people were by them, over them. Okay, thank you very much. Domingo, please repeat us to me. Sites. 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 Learn. Learn. Awareness. Uh, awareness. Advantage. Awareness. Advantage. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, good. Um, now let's go to the next one. Let me see. Uh, Ever, please. And Rosemary. Ever and Rosemary, please. Ever, you're going to be Arnold. And Rosemary, you're going to be Sophia, right? Go ahead, please. Ever? Yeah, Mr. Okay, good. Right now. Good, good. Sophia. Thank you. Thank you. And and Rosemary? Rosemary? Okay, so uh, Oscar, help me, please. Help me. Sorry, I don't have another girl to make this Sophia's part, but come on, help me. One, two, no three. Problem. I am? You're Sophia. And okay. Ever is going to be Arnold, okay? Go ahead. Right. I would like to sell training course online. I have developed a few, but I am not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by, by access? You could search your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social network sites and create another interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good, and the last one, let me see if I can make it. Uh, Carla Vanessa and Jorge Alfredo, let me see if you can make it. Uh, Carla Vanessa, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. And Jorge, are you ready, Jorge? Jorge. Okay, so Chamba, please. Can you help me, Chamba? Hi. Okay, uh, Debbie, have you participated? No, right? Yes. Yes, you already did. Okay, good. I know. Yeah. Oh, you can help me, please. So I, I'm okay. lost in the list because I have, well, I'm confused with the list. So help me, please. Uh, you're going to be Arno, please, and and and, and... yeah, yeah, we are Arno. Ah, okay, so you're Sophia. <laughs> Sorry, okay. my memory is not that good, you know. Okay. Okay. Uh, Me teacher. And Carla Vanessa, you're going to be Arno. Arno, right? Good. Sorry. One, two, three. Now, I would like to sell training course online. I have developed a few, but I I'm not sure it. I am not sure if, sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. Uh, what do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones 
to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will avoid it. Okay, thank you. Carla, again, buy them. Buy them. Good, thank you. Uh, Debbie, courses? Courses. To sell them. Sorry. To sell, sell them. them. Okay, that's to it. To sell them. Good. Uh, uh, Yvette, you want, Yvette wants to participate. Okay, good. And let me see who's missing from the boys, from the guys. Uh, Chamba, are you there, Chamba? No, okay, so Ever, repetition, Ever. Can you help me, please? You're going to be Arnold and uh, Sonia Ivet is going to be Sofia to finish, right? Okay, one, two, three, okay, action. I would like to start training course online. I have developed a, a few. But I'm not sure if I should get show get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually relevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social network sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Thank you, thank you very much. So we've been it, right? Somebody's missing? Somebody's missing? Nobody? Okay, good. Thank you. And uh, who, who? Uh, Rosibel, okay, I'm sorry, Rosibel. Excuse me, I'm confusing the list, sorry. It's un solo, una sola oh, lance en la lista que me perdí, Rosibel, sorry. So I'm going to help you. I'm going to be Arnold, right? And Rosibel, you're going to be Sofia. Ready? Okay, one, two, three, action. I would like to share training courses online. I have developed a few, but I am not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually relevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networks and uh, networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that the uh, people will buy them. Okay, thank you, thank you, Rosibel. Now, every, uh, anybody else? Nobody? Nobody? Okay, good. Attendance, please, ready? Here we go. Trini? Present. Good, Aminda? Present. Ana Maria? Carlos? Present. Claudia Guadalupe. The message, Claudia Guadalupe. Okay, good, thank you. And Domingo? Present. Thank you. Ever? Present. Jose Roberto? Jose Roberto? Carla? Send your message, Carla. Carla Vanessa. Present. Good, thank you. Laisley. Okay. Uh, Carla Benazir, please send your message. Carla Benazir, me manda el mensaje, por favor, please. Okay, and Leticia Guadalupe. Leti? Okay. Mariano? Present teacher. Oscar? Present. Rosemary? Rosemary? 
Rosibel. Thank you. Sonia Ivette. Present. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Walter Omar. Present. Wendy. Present. Vicky. Miriam. Chamba. Debbie. Present. Jorge, Jorge Alfredo. George. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. Good. Um, before to start, I want to, to talk ab uh, about this. Listen. Um, el día miércoles en la noche revisé la plataforma y había algunos alumnos que no me habían completado eh, ningún ejercicio de la unidad 1. Eh, recuérdense que esta noche a las 12 se cierra el, la plataforma para que Inglés Corporativo envíe el reporte electrónico a, a Insafor, ¿sí? Uh, y tengo algunos alumnos que no me han completado la... Bueno, hoy no revisé si lo habían completado, pero lo voy a mencionar porque para el día miércoles en la noche todavía no lo habían completado, ¿sí? Les mandé un mensaje en WhatsApp, eh, pero que quería recordárselos, ¿verdad? Eh, los alumnos que tengo que no han completado la plataforma, ustedes me dicen, ¿no? ya lo hice, teacher, ¿verdad? Como dicen algunos mensajes, si usted ya pagó su deuda, haga caso omiso de este aviso. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, Ana María, Rosemary, Sonia Ived, Walter Omar, Vicky Dinora, Miriam Verónica, Salvador, Salvador Augusto, Sorto, Chamba, right? Eh, no me parecen que han completado la unidad 1, así que por favor. Si me están escuchando, si escucho su mensaje, please. Eh, necesito que completen la, la, la plataforma para esta noche, ¿sí? Y pues en la, la unidad 2, pues ya vamos avanzando, ya casi terminamos también. Así que uh, para que no se les acumule, pues, ¿verdad? Y les recuerdo que tienen que completar el 80%, de 80%, right, of your grade. Tanto en asistencia como en eh, su trabajo en la plataforma, ¿ok? Y siempre que hay alguna confusión, pregunta, duda, quieren ayuda, excepto la respuesta, no las paso. <ríe> eh, aquí estoy a sus órdenes. ¿no? Here I am, here I am, here I am, here I am. Ok, good. Now let's continue with the class. Any extra question? No? Ok, so it's time to work. Listen. Look at the conversation and answer questions below. What does Sofia want to sell? What does Sofia want to sell? I will do something. I will ask two students. The first student who answered is the winner, right? Okay. Uh, Trini and Debbie, Thank question you. number one, please. Vamos a ver quién gana. Raise your hand, please. Vamos a ayudar. Sorry? Courses online. Courses online. Okay, thank you. ¿Quién me dijo Trini o Debbie? Bueno, digamos que las dos. <laughs> okay, number two. Eh, Ever versus Oscar Arnulfo. Question two. Access. access correct she is not sure how to do the online distribution and the meaning of the word access right good i will i will mention three things listen number one access number two how to do the online distribution and number three how to get online store right these are the three things that Sophie is not sure, right? So she needs some advice about that, right? Okay, and number three, let me see. Uh, Vanessa Noemi versus, oh, versus <laughs> uh, Carla Vanessa, the two Vanessa, right? Vanessa Noemi and Carla Vanessa, please. 
Question number three. What are Arnold's recommendations? There are a lot. Arnold gives a recommendation that uh, Uh huh. What is the recommendation? Yeah, social networking sites. Uh huh. Okay. Because she can create enough interest in it. Okay. Uh -huh. So, and this word, right? Awareness. Do you think this is important? This is uh, Arnold's recommendation? Yes, it is. Yeah, right? So, uh, so Sophia has to create, she has to raise the, the, the awareness, right? About the product in social network, networking sites. Okay, good. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your uh, answers. I will repeat the answers. If you want to copy, please. If you want to copy the answers, page number 22 in your menu. It can help you in the platform, of course. So number one, what does Sophia want to sell? She wants to sell English courses online. Don't say English, but I suppose it's English. So courses online. Number two, what is, isn't she sure about? She is not sure about how to do uh, the online distribution. Okay, and she's not sure how to get online store. Number three, what are, what are Arnold's recommendations? Arnold, right? Well, number two, teacher. Number two is she is not, not sure how to get or how to do, how to do the online distribution. She doesn't know how to do the online distribution, right? Here you have the idea, right? She is not sure about that, how to make this online distribution, right? And she's not sure how to get online store. She's not sure how to get online store. That's number two, right? And number three, what are the Arnold's, hey Arnold, recommendations? Is to take advantage of people access to internet, okay? Listen, this is very important for you in the real life class to take advantage of people access to internet. Now, everything is doing in this little machine that is called cell phone, right? Everything is done. Everybody's in the cell phone today, right? So this is an advantage if you want to sell your product, right? And this is because you have to create awareness about the product in social network insights, right? You have to create awareness about your product from social network side, right? Okay? In that way, people are going to buy your product, of course. Good. Any extra question? Okay. Now we're going to make some extra exercises that are not related to the, to the manual, right? Are not related to the manual, but we're going to to work together on that, right? And we are here. Give me a second. Um, I want to check something here. Yes. Okay, it's opening, it's opening, right? It's opening. It takes some time, but someday it will open. Okay, good, that's it, right? Now I get it. Aha, uh -huh. we're going to talk about emojis. Do you like emojis? Yes. Okay. But let me see, something is wrong with this. It's not reacting, it's not reacting. Give me a second here. Okay. Yes. Whew. Now it's working, right? Give me a second. 
here, right? Okay, guys, listen. Here with some, some popular emojis, right? Um, of course, in your cell phone, sometimes you can see it different, but the idea is this, right? The first one is, I'm not amused. That you say in Spanish, estoy aburrido, right? No estoy entretenido, it's that you, I'm not amused. Uh, I'm laughing so hard, I'm crying, you know? Okay, the famous uh, laughing and crying because you're really happy. I'm bored. Great job. That's amazing. I'm so embarrassed, right? I love it. That's awful. Just kidding, right? And my heart is breaking. Good. Uh, Oscar, ya está bien su internet, Oscar? More or less. Okay, good. So, okay. Do you use these emojis, Oscar? De vez en cuando. Sometimes. Sometimes. Debbie? Okay, Debbie, how about you? Do you use these emojis? Mm, yes. Yes, sometimes. okay. Sometimes too, right? Uh huh. Vanessa Noemi, in what situation do you use these emojis? Mm. Or other emojis, huh? <laughs> when someone send me a message, <laughs> I, I use them laughing so hard if it's funny. What is this? Uh huh. <laughs> And I don't know. That's amazing when someone tell me about some new, a uh, good mm -hmm. new. And great job if great job. Nice. The person reads some some something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Uh Trini, do you know other expression? Uh, that you can use emojis to convey, convey is transmit, right? What other expressions? Not in this, right? Not like it's salen aquí. Other situation, other expression that you can uh, express your ideas with emojis. Um, <clears throat> When you're bored, when you're amused, when your uh, your heart is breaking, right? But what other situations? Great job. Great job. Okay, that 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 is here, right? But what other situations in your personal life, for example, Trini? When you you use WhatsApp, right, Trini? I imagine so. Uh, I will give you one example, Trini. When when I am sad. Uh, when I am sad, I, I use another emoji, right? So, okay. What about you, Trini? In conversation with my friend. Uh huh. Just give me one example, Trini. One example of one emoji that is not in, in this group. One emoji that is not in this group. Not. Um, just kidding. Just kidding. Repeat, please. Yes. Just okay. Kidding. Just kidding, right? Okay, nice. I like that. Okay, and what is your favorite? What is your, the funniest? Domingo? In Europe. Ah, okay. Hey, Domingo, I see one emoji. Come on, Domingo, I saw it. <laughs> it means that you... <laughs> You are, you are sad because you're working, right, Domingo? <laughs> okay, good. What is your, your, the funniest emoji in your opinion, Domingo? The most, most emoji is the, um, uh, I am bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am no, an outfit. Okay. It is. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Uh, 
uh, a great goal. Okay. It's a great goal. Okay, good. So those are some examples, right, Domingo? Uh -huh. Those are funny, right? Okay, very good. That's it. Now we're going to talk about communication. Let me see what time is it. Yes, we have time to, to work with this. Here, uh, we're going to learn how to communicate. Uh, Oscar, it started raining in my house too, eh? So if the internet takes me out, please wait for me, eh? Because with the rain, the internet suffers, right? Okay, now let's go to this body language. I will yeah. tell you this, listen. 70% of the communication is done with body language. Believe it or not, 70% of the communication is made with the body language, right? And you can see this woman, right? Uh, it says, what is this woman doing in each picture? So we're going to match each description with a picture, right? We have A, B, C, D, E, and F, right? Good, number one, she's scratching her head. C. What letter is, uh -huh, Debbie? Letter C. Letter C. Or letter F. Well, oh, I, scratching. Yeah, I'm scratching, rascando, right? Your hitos, right? So number one, She's scratching her head. Number two, she's biting her nails. B. B. Letter B. B. Okay, good. B. Okay. Number three, she's rolling her eyes. She's rolling her eyes. Letter D, correct, right? Like, mm, okay, rolling her eyes. Uh, She's tapping her foot. Tap. Letter A. A. Letter A. That's correct, right? And number five, she's pulling her A. hair out. C. Letter C. And like, se está jalando el pelo, right? She's pulling her, her hair out. And number six, she's wrinkling. Está arrugando, wrinkle, es arruga, right? Wrinkle. So she wrinkled her nose. E. Letter? E. Okay, e. good. Thank you very much. Now, the next exercise, the name, right? Here we have some words. Annoyed, confused, embarrassed, frustrated, Irritated, bored, disgusted, exhausted, impatient, nervous. Okay, good. Now, if you're annoyed, what picture do you recommend? Annoyed, molesto, disgustado, intranquilo. Letter C. Letter C. You know, annoyed, okay. Confused. Letter B. Letter D. Okay. Embarrassed. Letter B. Apenado, right? Letter B. Letter C or maybe letter B. Uh -huh. B. Very good. Frustrated? C. Letter C. C. Letter C, right? And irritated? E. Letter E. Letter B e. or C? E. E. Okay, letter, letter A. A. Irritated. Bored. Oh, bored. Letter A. E. Letter A. E. Oh, let it be too, right? Disgusted. C. Disgusted, letter C. Exhausted. 
Uh, I mean letter a. D. A. Letter D, right? Impatient. Letter B. A. B. Or A. Uh, I guess it's more like letter A, right? Mm -hmm. Impatient. Yes. And the last one, nervous. B. Good, thank you. Now, we're going to do something, right? I will choose one student, right? And this student is going to communicate something with his body or with her body. And everybody's going to guess. Todos vamos a tratar de adivinar, right? What is this uh, situation, right? Okay, let me see. Uh, Yvette. Yvette, please. Uh, your camera is on, right, Yvette? Yes. Yes. Let me check it out. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Please. Turn it on, please. Turn it on. Okay. Now, everybody, please, I need you watch Yvette in the camera, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, no la veo, Yvette. Déjame ver. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I see you. Ahora sí, a la vez. Okay. Now, Yvette, try to communicate something with your body, with your face, right? And everybody's going to guess. ¿Cómo vamos a adivinar qué nos quiere decir? Okay, ready? One, two, three, now. Mm. Okay. Okay, good. Volunteers? She's thinking. She's Thank thinking. Uh, Confused. 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 Okay, nice. Is it true, Yvette? It's true? Are you confused? Thinking. <laughs> You're thinking. Okay, she's thinking like. Okay, good. Thank you. Now, another student. Let me see. Walter Omar, please. Walter Omar, camera on, please. Let me find out, Walter. Okay, here, right? So ready, Walter? One, two, three, now. <laughs> okay. Aha, uh -huh, class. What does Walter want to communicate? Yo no lo vi. Ni yo. No lo vi. I am no, watching what? Domingo. Me. A mí me apareció Domingo. Ah, bueno, entonces pasemos al, al siguiente. Ahí está Walter. Yo lo estoy viendo, Walter. Corre la cámara ahí, por favor. Yo Here veo Walter. Ah, okay. Tired. Tired. He's tired. What else? Patient. Impatient, frustrated, 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 okay, good, good, thank you, thank you very much, the last one, right, the last one, let me see, Aminda, okay, Aminda, what do you want to communicate, are you watching Aminda, ready, okay, yes. one, yes. two, three, Okay. Bored, exhausted. Bored, right? <laughs> okay, good. That's it, right? Now I will give you my my expression, right? And you tell me, right? Ready? Here we go. Confused. Confused. You don't know. <laughs> you don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, right? Next one. Crazy. You're crazy. You're nuts. You're nuts. You're crazy. Right? Next one. Irritated. Embarrassed. Sorry? Frustrated. Irritated. Irritated. Frustrated. I have a headache, right? I have a headache. Next one. Look. This is not in the list. It's another expression, right? Sound confused. No, no, look. 
don't like. I don't like the smell, right? <laughs> smell bad. Okay, good. Next one, look. Watching you. I'm watching you, right? I'm looking at you. At you. <laughs> I'm checking you, right? Okay, next one. Thinking. Thinking. Thinking, right? Thinking. Okay, very good. Thank you. So this is the way you can communicate, right? Using your body. I repeat, the scientists say that 70% of the communication is with your body, with your face, with your eyes, you know, with your smile. Okay? This is an international language. Wherever you go, you can use your body to communicate some messages, right? Okay. Let's go to the next exercise. Good. This is a conversation, you said, right? So listen to the conversation. Unit 14. Now I get it. Page 93. Exercise 3. Conversation. It's pretty confusing. Part A. Listen and practice. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name? Elena? Yeah, Elena. It was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. Good. Now, uh, Elena is trying to communicate something here, right? She's trying to communicate something, but she is... Uh, from Bulgari. By the way, do you know what is the capital city of Bulgari? The capital city of Bulgari is Sofia. Okay. I like that. Eh? What is that about, Oscar? You know, Sofia is the capital city of Bulgari, right? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to play the audio again. And we're going to try to repeat. Uh, the, the, the way uh, Elena is trying to communicate something, right? Okay, come on, Unit listen again, 14. listen again. Now I get it. Conversation. It's pretty confusing. Part A, listen and practice. How was dinner with the new Bulgarian student last night? What's her name, Elena? Yeah, Elena, it was nice. We always have a good time, but I still don't understand her very well. You see, when we offer her something to eat or drink, she nods her head up and down. But at the same time, she says no. It might mean she wants to accept it, but she thinks it's not polite. In some countries, you have to refuse any offer first. Then the host insists and you accept it. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. It could mean she doesn't want anything, but she thinks it's rude to say no. Actually, in some countries, when people move their heads up and down, it means no. Really? Now I get it. Okay, class. I will move my head from side to side. Look at me. Look at me. From side to side. I will move my head up and down, up and down. Okay, front sides, side to side, up and down. Good. Now, Vanessa Noemi, in El Salvador, when you say this, what do you mean? That it's not correct or that you, you don't. 
to the one or when you say no? No, right? Simple no. Do you want soda? Do you want a uh, petrol? <laughs> okay. No, right? Good. And uh, let me see. No, no. Oscar, Oscar, you say yes, right? No, please. Petrov, no, Oscar, please. <laughs> okay. Good. Jack Daniel, no. Jack Daniel. Okay, I know. Trini, when I, when I move my head from up and down, Trini, look at me. What do I mean, Trini? In El Salvador, of course, in El Salvador. Yes. Yes, correct, right? When I make like this, yes, right? Do you want to see Barcelona? Do you want to see Alianza Football Club? Okay, it's a yes, right? It's a yes. Okay, but in this case, look at the picture. The woman makes like this, but she say no. For example, you say, do you want a cell phone? No. Do you want pupusas? No. <laughs> okay, but where do people do that? In what country do people say, no, no. What country? I don't know. In Bulgaria? In Bulgaria, of course. Elena is from Bulgaria, right? And look, she made like this, but she say, no, look. No. Yes. <laughs> so <in> the, <laughs> sorry? In Chespirito. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, it's similar to Chespirito, right? <laughs> it's true. In some countries, they do it like that, right? Okay. Good. And I will tell you one more to finish. In, in Japan, for example, uh, in El Salvador, when we make this, is okay. Okay. Right, but in Japan, when you make this, is that you want to change your money in coins, your change in coins, when you make like this in Japan. In El Salvador, you say, okay, right? Good, and you know, the way you express ideas with your body are diff is different from country to country, right? Okay, now let's go to the last exercise. Good. Here we have some expressions, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we have, I don't know. I don't know. Number two, be quiet. Be quiet. Next one, call me, call me. Next one, that sounds crazy. Next one, I can hear you. And then come here. Come, baby, come, baby, come. Okay. So now let's start with the first one. I will ask some specific students, right? Uh, Jorge Alfredo, I don't know. Debbie, I don't know. Number? Two. Oh, yes. Jorge? Jorge? Okay, very good. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, or six. I don't know. Jorge. Uh, teacher, voy conduciendo, le decía, disculpe. Ah, okay, good. No, no problem. I'm sorry, Jorge. Continue. Continue. Okay. Sorry. No, no, no queremos un accidente ahí, Jorge. Tranquilito, tranquilo. <laughs> okay. So, David, please help me. I don't know. Number two. Number two, right? Two. Chamba? Are you there, Chamba? No, okay, good. So, uh, Wendy, please. Number, next one. Be quiet. Number three. Number three, that's correct, right? Oh, sorry. This is for Debbie. And this is for Wendy, right? Walter, please call me. Sorry, teacher. Walter, uh, 
next one. What number is call me? Uh, number, number five. Number five. Very good. And Vanessa, please. That sounds crazy. Number six. Number six. Yvette, I can't hear you. It's number one. Number one, correct, right? And Rosibel, no, the last one, come here. Number four. Number four, very good, thank you. Eh, Rosibel, antes que termine la clase, eh, quisiera saber si todo está bien con su internet y si podemos quedarnos 10 minutos después de la clase. Yes. Yes, yes okay, good, good. Entonces la vamos a agendar aquí. Rosibel del Carmen López. Thank you, Rosibel. Thank you. Good. Now, let's go to the last one, right? Vamos a hacer el, el último ejercicio y terminamos la clase. Okay, good. This is it. Okay, now, what are these, what do you think these signs mean? Listen and match each sign with the correct meaning. Listen, please. Page 95, exercise eight, perspectives, rules and regulations, part A. What do you think these signs mean? Listen and match each sign with the correct meaning. A. You can swim here. B. You aren't allowed to take photos here. C. You have to fasten your seat belts. D. You've got to take off your shoes to enter. E. You are allowed to park here. F. You can't turn left. G. Pets aren't allowed in this area. H. You have to turn off electronic devices in this area. Okay, last time, right? Listen again for the last time. Page 95, exercise eight, perspectives, rules and regulations, part A. What do you think these signs mean? Listen and match each sign with the correct meaning. A. You can swim here. B. You aren't allowed to take photos here. C. You have to fasten your seat belts. D. You've got to take off your shoes to enter. E. You are allowed to park here. F. You can't turn left. G. Pets aren't allowed in this area. H. You have to turn off electronic devices in this area. Okay, dokie. Now let's do this this very fast, right? Number one is letter. Number one is letter. D. D, correct. Number two is letter. A. 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 Number three is letter. G. G. G, correct. Number four. Letter E. E. Letter E. Number five. H. H. Number six. C. 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 Number seven. B. 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 Right. Number eight. F. F. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Oh. That's six. That's six. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you very much, class. I'm happy to stay with you tonight. I hope you have a good weekend. Enjoy your Saturday and enjoy your Monday. Uh, your Sunday, sorry. And I will see you on Monday, right? Uh, I will take the attendance. You can go. Everybody can go after I take the attendance, except Rosibel. Please stay with me, Rosibel. Okay, okay. now, uh, Trini. Present. Good. Have a good night, Trini. God bless you.
Aminda. Uh, present. Good. Eh, Ana María. Good. Eh, Carlos. Carlos William. Claudia Guadalupe. Thank you, Claudia. Eh, Domingo. Present. Good. Have a good night, Domingo. Ever. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Good Roberto. Carla Benazir. Carla Vanessa. Present. Good. Thank you. Laisley. Leticia. Leticia. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Have a good night. Mariano. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mariano. Present teacher. Thank you. Good Have a good night, Mariano. Good Oscar. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Rosemary. Rosemary. Rosibel. Present, sure. Oh, thank you. No se me vaya, Rosibel. No se me vaya. Mm -hmm. eh, Yvette. Present. Good. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Good. Espero que sea mejor, Vanessa. Ok. Walter Omar. Present. Good night. Ah, ok, good. No, eh, Carla Vanessa. Pero bueno, ya no está acá la que se sentía un poquito mal, me dijo Carla Vanessa, ¿verdad? Well, Walter Omar, thank you. Wendy. Good night. Good night. God bless you. And Chamba. Debbie. Good night. Good night, Debbie. God bless you. Jorge Alfredo. Good. Con cuidado ahí en la manejada, Jorge. Have a good Thank night. You. Good night. Okay. Bye bye. See you. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Okay, uh, how are you, Rosibel? Uh, I'm fine, thank fine? you, okay, teacher. Good. Yes. How, how is your internet? Better? Uh, si está I, no. no, no, right? No, no I take for my, my phone. Ah, okay, good. Uh -huh. So this is your uh -huh. computer or your phone? Yeah. This is my phone because oh, computer is, is not good. It's not working internet. well. Okay, mm -hmm. I understand. I understand. Sorry for that, right? But thank God you're you're here, right? Okay, Rosibel, yeah. uh, this class is for you, personal class, mm -hmm. right? So any question you have, something that is difficult for you, or any question you have about English? Uh, I think in the adjectives uh, for use enough. Adjective plus in, enough. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, in I, general, or you have one specific question about the use of adjective plus enough? No, I think yeah, I need uh, memorize. Memorize oh, because memorize. It's, it's kind of confused for me uh, when need apply the, the exactly uh, use. Uh, use yes, uh -huh. yes okay yes so let me look for the for the for the presentation and i will okay. i will also i i need a request to you if you can send me a powerpoint presentation uh -huh. what the number one? one the number one number until one. Okay. <laughs> until, until Pres now present Ah, all the presentations. Ah, yeah. okay. Presentations yeah. to Rosibel, right? Mm -hmm. All. All, all, Aquí yes. Lo remarcamos. Okay, all presentations. Good. Good. Uh, you appear, let, let me check, right? Permítame mm -hmm. chequearla en el grupo porque a veces no aparece el nombre. Give me a second here. Give me a second. Vamos a chequear. Uh, Participantes. Uh, Verónica. Second. Are, appear, I'm not sure if you appear where Rose. 
The thing is that sometimes uh, it appears, sometimes not. Okay. No, Rosibel. No, no, no. Only, solo parece su número, pero no sale quién. ¿De quién es? Okay. What are the last two digits? De, de menos dos últimos dígitos. Six two. Six two. Six. Okay. Six two. Uh, seven, eight, six, two, six, two. Six, two, uh -huh. six, two, six, two, six, two. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, three. Uh -huh. Yes, okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, give me a second. Que fácil su número. Good, thank you, thank you. Ahí se lo vamos a mandar todos. Good. So now, but I will explain how to use enough plus adjective, right? How to use enough. Plus adjectives. Is opening? Okay, here we are. Okay. Well, it's not. It's not enough. It's a. Uh, it's not enough. No, it's a. No, uh, it's a. Uh, um, the last, last the enough is uh... okay. I, I have the manual with me, right? I have the manual. The, but this one you need two, Check. right? You need two. Yes. You need two with so uh, enough. Well, well, uh, the four P's, right? Vimos las cuatro P's: product, price, place, and promotion. Excuse me. Excuse me. Luego vimos una conversación. Luego vimos how to use enough to modify adjectives. This is grammar, right? No, Page no, no. It's 20. the product, it's the product uh, life cycle. It's the number one, sorry. Number one. Yeah. Life, ah, okay, life little, cycle, yes, yes. A, a little, a lot, so much, I think. Ah, I okay, think. I got it, I got it, yes. Let me see. It's necessary see. to yes. To, it was class to memorize. Four. Class number four. Era, fue la clase huh? número cuatro. Ahora sí vamos a ver. Yes. Number four, right? Quantities, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or quantifiers. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Now let it's me kind see. of confused for me. Don't worry. We're going to make a review, right? I'm gonna be sure that you understand, Rosibel. Um, oops, abrido, no se cuesta correct. Okay, wait, one thing, Marin de doping. Ah, yes, yes. Yes, this is the one. Quantify, right? Yes, this is very confusing. Yeah, you have to memorize. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I need a, I'm not sure if you give me one page for practice for a... I will send you a video. Okay. I will send you a video, but I will explain, of course. And I will send you the presentation, too. okay? It's presentation number four, right? Okay. First, let me tell you that uh, quantifiers are words that express a uh, no very specific quantity, right? Normally with number, you can say three, four, five, six, seven. That's exactly right. But when you use quantifiers, you are showing a portion of the quantity, understand? Yeah. And it's simple if you divide your mind in two, in countable nouns and no countable, right? Do you know the difference between countable and no countable? Yeah, countable yes. is when, when I came one, two, three, four. Yeah, you can, and they are separable, they are plural, singular, and you can count them, right? Mm -hmm. And the opposite, the non count nouns are no countable, are no separable, right? And they are only, they don't have plural or singular, right? It's, they are only one thing, right? Okay, and then these expressions are used for non count nouns. A little, I will use one simple one, water. It says time, but for water, for me, it's better. A little water, that means un poquito de agua, right? A lot of water. Mucha agua, un montón de agua. Some water, algo de agua. Much water, mucha agua. 
a great deal of water, un, un montonazo, un montón de agua. <laughs> plenty, it's the same, right? Plenty of water, plenty of water. Mucha agua, un montón de agua. And no water, no water. Means nada de agua, right? No water. Okay? Then these expressions are used for cow nouns. Let's say, uh, what? Uh, mangos, mangos, I like mangos, you know. So you can say a few mangos, unos cuantos mangos, unos poquitos mangos, a lot of mangos, un montonazo de, man de mangos, son mangos, algunos mangos, many mangos, muchos mangos, plenty of mangos, un montón, un pocote de mangos, right? And no mangos. Sin mangos, right? Okay. Then, in the next one, I can show you that some uh, specific quantifiers are used with only singular. Ahora, uh, en el anterior, Rosibel, in the last one, right, vimos que algunos se pueden usar como a lot of, se puede usar en ambos, mil. Pero vamos a ver los exclusivos, ¿ok? Los exclusivos. What are these? One house. This is used for singular, right? Estos solo son para singular count nouns. One house, one, one dog, one table, one pencil, etc. etc. Each, cada. Each woman, cada mujer. Each class, cada clase, you know? Every student, cada estudiante. Every, every man, cada hombre, right? So this is only one. Singular count. Now, the ones that can be used only with plural count nouns. Nombres contables y plurales. Okay? A few apples. Unas cuantas manzanas, right? Many workers. Muchos trabajadores. A couple of offices. Un par de oficinas. Both factories, ambas fábricas, several products, muchos, bastantes productos. At least four, al menos cuatro, or at least three, etc. A pair of shoes, a pair of pants, a pair of shoes, a pair of sandals, right? Un par de, un par de. A number of customers, un número específico de clientes, right? A majority of markets, la mayoría de mercados. Okay, so again, a few, many, a couple of, both, several, at least, a pair of, a number of, and a majority of, all of them are used exclusive for count nouns. Estos son exclusivos para los nombres contables, en plural, en plural, right? Exclusive. Next one, Ros Rosibel. Some quantifiers can be used with non-counts. Estos solo son para los no contables. Nunca los vamos a usar nosotros, solo en no contables, ¿ok? A little. Te quiere decir un poquito. ¿Ok? A little formality. Un poquito de formalidad, ¿eh? Less fun. Menos diversión. So in English you can say una diversión, dos diversiones, tres diversiones. No, no, right? No. It's a diversion in general, right? So, less fun. Much time, much water, much oil, much milk. Mucha leche, mucha agua, mucho tiempo. You know. Mucho pisto, yo quisiera, pero no tengo. Okay. Much money. <laughs> or, not as much, not as much. No tanto, no, no mucho, not as much, right? Not as much formality, not as much... A, a coffee, for example, right? A great deal of, un, un montón, o un, un puñado, un, una gran porción, o una gran parte del conflicto, right? A great amount of interest, una gran cantidad de interés, o un montonazo, de, como si quiera decirlo usted, de interés, okay? So, again, all of these are exclusive for singular com. All of these are exclusive for plural com nouns. And all of these are exclusive for uh, non count right? Ayer de que se las aprenda, Rosibel. 
A mí la que me confunde son estas, miren. A majority of. Tengo que memorizarme que es para, para contables plural. A great deal of. Esta me confunde a mí. Sí que quiere decir un montón, pero, pero yo digo, si es un montón, entonces es contable, pero no. Es no contable. Entonces, grábeselo como un puñado de, o un, una gran porción de, una gran porción de, de crema, por ejemplo. de queso, right? A great deal of cheese. ¿eh? Ok. Y luego hay algunos que son comunes, que se pueden usar en ambos. Lo puedo usar tanto en countable y como no countable, right? No, some and any, a lot of, lots of, a third of, una tercera parte de, plenty of, most, all, more, more and more. Más y más, más y más mujeres, más y más agua. Ok, todos, todo el agua que usted puede tomarse todos los clientes que usted pueda tener. ¿Ok? Good. ¿Rosibel? Aquí creo que no es mucho de estudiar, ¿verdad, Rosibel? Sino que de memorizar, le dicen, memorize. But even though, do you have questions? No, teacher, no question. I only uh, uh, get or try to memorize for not confused. Because I think Uh -huh, because I think it's memorized for, for a play correct uh, in a specific uh, sentence. Good. You're totally right, Rosibel. That's it, right? Now, my recommendations, Rosibel, please watch an English movie every week. English movie, right? I suggest romantic, comedy, or cartoons. Number two. Please listen to music in English. Listen to music, right? Uh, for example, yesterday I sent a, a, a video, ayer les mandé un video, right? The name of the song is Red Wine. Red, red wine, it's up to you. So I like it, you know, so, and you can practice with it. And number three, please go to YouTube and open audiobooks audio books, right? You can read a, or, or listen a book. It takes a lot of time, right? It takes like two hours, but you can listen in one month. En un mes puede leer, escuchar un libro, right? My it's recommendation is The Little Prince, El Principito. Se lo okay. recomiendo. Ahí está en YouTube. Please. Okay. This, is, this is the first time for me to read books in, in Check YouTube. it out. Check it out, Rosie. Check it out. Revíselo. Y ya va a ver que le va a gustar. Le va a encantar. Porque, bueno, a mí me gusta leer. I like to read, right? And you are going to only listen, right? Yes? Of course, you're not going to take all night long, right? No se va a pasar toda la noche. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, in parts, right? Good. Rosibel, any extra question before we finish? No. No, no. Only that, teacher. Okay. No. So my pleasure to have you in my class. Thank you very much. And I will see you on Monday, right? Thank you, teacher. Good. Have a nice weekend. You too. Bye-bye. Enjoy your weekend. God bless you. God bless you. You too. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you very much.